We're back. Time now for Paige McKenzie. Punctuation on the week. The time of the show where Paige joins us and kind of recaps the week with a little punctuation. Paige, I would start off with maybe an exclamation mark over the weekend. You know, a lot to choose from, but I'm sticking with Danielle Kang and how she responded in the middle of her round. Gabby Lopez had gotten off to a pretty good lead. And after a bogey on the eighth, Danielle Kang then rattled off five birdies in her next seven holes. And to me, this actually was reminiscent of her first LPGA Tour win at the KPMG. She birdied the 11th and then, or excuse me, bogeyed the 11th or 10th and then birdied four in a row. So a similar response to that bogey on the eighth with five birdies in her next seven holes. This is a player that led the field in green, greens and regulation as well as putts per green and regulation, which that combination is pretty hard to beat. And Shane, one of the things that I'm looking for from Danielle Kang in next week is that she may do a back to back like she did off the break uh, last year in Toledo, Ohio, the LPGA staying in Florida and playing Boca Ria, the golf course that she finished third at in 2019 at that event. So keep an eye on Danielle Kang again this week. Yeah, she looked unflappable, especially that difficult closing stretch. All right, Paige McKenzie, how about a quote of the week? <laughs> the quote of the week, well, we know that the LPGA had a celebrity division. So the quote of the week this week is from Derek Lowe, who won the celebrity division against the greatest of all time. I uh, never checked the scoreboard until the 18th hole. And I asked my wife, where do I stand? And she says, oh, I'm just going to have to par. And we'll go to a playoff. And I went and watched. What an amazing up and down on 18 she did. Uh, but... Um, and it is honestly like one of the biggest events I've ever been part of or win to play against Annika Sorensen. How many people can say that in a playoff uh, and to prevail is uh, it, was, it was a great day. Well, to answer your question, Derek, as it relates to Annika, how many playoffs has she been in? She's been in 22 playoffs in her career. Look at that record. 16 and 6. Two of those playoffs were in majors where she was victorious on both of those. And get this, of the six playoff losses, three of them were to Rachel Hetherington. So Rachel Hetherington, Derek Lowe in the same class as it relates to being victorious over Annika. Obviously a little different situation when it's a Stableford celeb division. But you asked the question, Derek, I've got the answer for you. Rachel, kind of like the Eli to the Tom yeah, Brady yeah. legacy, right? Just exactly. always getting in there winning some Super Bowls. How about this week's? Period. Who kind of just slammed the door to finish off the week? To me, that was Hudson Swafford. And yes, he finished with a par after a crazy back nine. But to me, the shot of the tournament was the 16th hole on that second shot, this reachable par five. Look at this amazing shot. This deserves an exclamation point. But look at that. Not even a club twirl? <laughs> no reaction? Nothing. I, mean, I would be running to the green and look at this. Just a strut, just a slow walk. Act like you've done it before. Yes, Hudson Swafford, you have done it before. That deserves a period. Yeah, like it's that. like a Georgia Bulldog. It's like a Sea Island Mafia type thing. He's just kind of <laughs> sashay. Oh, we won again. Right, I won again. One in 2022. Same place, I've won here before. All right, Paige, how about an old bleep moment of the week? Yeah, a new exclamation of this week. And I'm going with Siwoo Kim in the 17th hole. Now, a lot of players have found tragedy on the stadium course. We knew at 18 under par, he was two back at the time with two holes to play. He's trying to be aggressive and just a little too aggressive. So ultimately, a double bogey on that 17th hole, which dropped him from what would have been a tie for ninth outside the top 10. So that was my, oh, shoot. <laughs> I was like sweating a little bit. I wasn't sure that, what she was going to say. I'm going to say this. Every producer that's yes. behind the scenes right now is like, they got through that. Do we have a seven second delay? We're okay. <laughs> I don't know. They We're got okay. the buzzer right here. That's pretty good stuff. Paige, that's really well done. Thanks so much for that.